All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to gather up as much of this trash as I can. Because I don't want to deal with any trash once I'm ready to do the important stuff. You know, if you're in a group, it's not that big of a deal to worry about every last trash mob. But when you're soloing, you don't need a bunch of trash mobs mucking this up for you. Darnock, good morning and welcome. The class that's good to do next is the class you enjoy playing. Whatever you want to play, man. You know, Sork gives bonuses to evocation spells, so virtually any caster is going to benefit from that. I mean, a druid will benefit from that, a bard, another Sork, a wizard, a warlock. Geeks. Good morning and welcome. If you're just tuning in, happy to have you. I'm soloing Shroud on R1 at level 19, just to kind of see if I can do it. I'm not even sure if I've done this before. I think, oops, I didn't want to go there yet. I think maybe I have. I've only done it on Elite at level 19. I'm not 100% if I've done it, on, done it on R1, but I think that I have. You know, who knows? At my age, it's hard to remember things, you know? At my advanced age. But right now I'm in part two. I want to clear it out of all trash. When you're soloing, I like to clear all trash out. I do not want any extra trash mobs messing things up for me. Because this part can be really hard when you're soloing. And if, if I got the cat, that's going to really suck. Sweet. I don't have the cat or the fire elemental. That is excellent news. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these guys to the southwest corner. Now the traditional pug method would be to drag them down here to south central. But I like to take them to the southwest corner because it's a little bit farther away from the center than south central is. And when you're soloing, you're going to want that little bit of extra room. The aura is my Eldritch aura, and it comes, uh, it's part of the uh, Enlightened Spirit Enhancement Tree. So I have an aura that ticks by itself. Right now it's ticking every two seconds because of my level, but lower levels it ticks slower. When you first get it, it only ticks every once every five seconds. And then I have burst number one and burst number two. So it's aura, burst, burst. The aura is constant. Now these four clowns right here, uh, and they're not clowns, but you know what I meant. These guys will not die as long as they're together. They have to be separated in order to die. So this is a part that's kind of tricky when you're soloing. But if you do not kill them all the first time, you do not clear it in the first round, then successive attempts, they don't need to be together anymore. And I've never to this day really understood exactly what that mechanic was all about or you know, I wish I could explain better why it works that way, or sometimes it seems to be in effect. And other, but there's different bosses in this part. There's a whole bunch of different bosses. Like each boss is at least like two different ones. Like there can be a cat, there can be a fire elemental, there can be a an orthon, there can be um.
I can't remember all of them. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Now that they're all prepped, notice how they all have zero hit points. They're at literally at negative when I examine them, they're at negative. So as soon as I start separating them out, they are just going to die. So I'm going to chain shape them as I'm going north and hope that they just separate out because of their different run speeds. And this isn't working very well. So, no problem. We'll run them back. Ah, Damazi just died. He's super slow, though. Not super slow, but he's kind of slow. But the devil and the the kobold are moving at about the same rate. That's not good. Yeah, this really sucks. Don't panic. Well, where the hell are they? And they all just died. I don't know what they were doing. They were having like a little mini boss party. I'm just going to kill this guy. Just to reset them all. Even though Damazi, the Wendigo, regenerated. Don't panic. Right? I like to teach not only what to do in raids, but what to do when things go wrong. What to do when they're not separating. You know, normally just run them up the west side because they have different run speeds. They separate out on their own. But since you have a variety of different bosses, sometimes you get some that are running at the same speed and they, they didn't want to separate. That's okay. Don't panic. I'm just going to sit here and sip my coffee for a minute. Let them all respawn. Oh, and get a Plague Reaper. That's fun. Okay. Now, unless I'm wrong, and I'm never wrong, they're headed dead into the fire swamp. Um, now they should die without having to be <laughs> separated. Okay. I'm going to take them over here. I'm going to turn my aura off. Because I don't want them to die by accident. I got to take a great care, care uh, in prepping them. Because now they're going to die even when they're near each other. And you can see, like, Demazi's almost dead already. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my aura. Get a boost or something. Boom. Okay, they're all dead. Now I gotta get back to this crystal in a big hurry before they get back. And I have to kill this crystal before they get back to the center and regenerate. Target it. Hit it with my Arcane Tempest. Boom. See, they weren't even halfway back. Arcarian, good morning and welcome. Actually, it's not the morning anymore. It's This is not good morning coffee and chat. I was going to call it overtime. But we'll call it solo R1 heroic shroud. There we go. That way, if people tune in, they'll know what I'm doing. And they'll be like, why are you doing that? Oh, something to do. Why am, I, why am I playing DDO is the better question. What's your big fancy answer for that, Mr. Fancy Pants? 